But first tonight, personal injury attorney Kirby Ferris, he is here with to take a look at one of your email questions and tonight it's from Rick and Rick sends us a question. He says basically my brother was walking home after a dark uh, after dark, a car clipped him and he had to go to the ER. The driver didn't even stop. He saw the car, but unfortunately, obviously he didn't get the tag number. So any way that he can uh, go about finding this guy, that's what he wants to know. How do you go about finding someone in a basically a hit and run where, where the guy you didn't get his tag number, you didn't get information, so how do you go after trying to find that, that car and that person responsible? You, you know, Tiffany, that's difficult if not impossible. If yeah. you don't have at least a tag number sure. or something to go by. But it does give us an opportunity to talk about something called underinsured motorist coverage. Very, very important. You've probably heard us talk about it on the show before. It is on your insurance policy. You need to talk with your agent about it to make sure you have adequate coverage. But when you're injured by a vehicle, and you can't identify it or they don't have insurance. And when I say can't identify, Alabama recognizes something called phantom vehicle law, where if a vehicle hits you and runs and you're not able to identify it and you're injured, you can still make a claim on your underinsured motorist coverage. It's extremely important insurance. Talk to your agent about it. Make sure you have it in place. And then you don't have to go looking for that needle in the haystack if you can't find the vehicle.